sure you all know that me and Lauren met at work. What you may not know is what Lauren's first opinion of me was. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren had joined the team, already having a few years in the job, and after spending a few shifts with me, her thoughts on me were, who is this cocky, lazy probationer? <laughs> after somehow convincing Lauren to spend some time outside of work with me, after a while, it was time to have our first holiday together. It was supposed to be an amazing month away, travelling all over Thailand, but due to an illness which I had contracted, which we never actually got to the bottom of the source of. The holiday actually involved in me having headaches, fevers, and being sick for about the first two weeks. Finally, I was rushed to hospital, being put on a drip, and on the verge of having blood transfusions. Now, I'm sure Lauren probably looks back on this being the worst holiday of her life, and I probably agree, it wasn't the most fun for me. <laughs> but it probably was the most significant holiday that I've had. It was laying in hospital bed, not understanding a word of what the doctors were saying. When I looked over at you and saw the look of worry on your face, you looked back on me and I just knew that everything would be okay. It was that moment that I realised I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Now that the happiest day of our lives is finally here, I realise that words alone can never express the love that's in my heart for you. So I promise to spend every single moment showing you I love you so much. I can't wait to turn around and see you walking down the aisle looking stunning. Today is the day that you go from being my fiancé and my best friend to being my wife. Oh, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Love Tom. <laughs> I do have, well, it's something that my dad wanted to actually read today, um, so bear with me, <laughs> and I'll try and get through it all without breaking down, should be alright. It's just a little blessing around marriage, and he isn't a religious man, uh, apart from when he used to smoke around the back of the church. As spring unfolds a dream of the earth, may you bring each other's hearts to birth. As the ocean finds calm in view of land, may you love the gaze of each other's hand. As the wind arises free and wild, may nothing negative control your lives. As kindly as moonlight might search the dark, so gentle may you be when light grows scarce. As surprised as silence that music opens, may your words for each other be touched with reverence. As warmly as the air draws in the light, may you welcome each other's every gift. As elegant as dream absorbing the night, may sleep find you clear of anger and hurt. And as twilight harvests all of the day's colour, may love bring you home to each other.